Good morning, Saturday morning, and you find me sat on the banks of the River Ness at Inverness. Uh, we're up here this weekend for my son to take part in the cycling event of Ride Block Ness. Um, he's just in tomorrow morning, so we've got a day today, he's registration day, and we're going to do a bit of sightseeing and some photography. So uh, hang around and we'll bring some pictures back and we'll catch you a little bit later. See you soon. way up about 900 meters above Loch Ness itself which is in that valley in front of us now down below which you can't even see but absolutely spectacular I had to stop and get this bit on video but if we kept stopping everywhere today trust me I'd have been out since six o'clock this morning and I'll be here till midnight still going round there's just so much to see up here absolutely amazing Hi from the future. Uh, we've stumbled across this uh, shipwreck on our cycle route recce on the Saturday morning. In our excitement we forgot to video it, so here is a stills storybook up to the full final image. I hope you enjoy it. This is where we are now. We've just come round from through Fort Augusta. We're on the yellow road there, just on that massive climb up. We're literally on the water's edge at Fort Augusta, and within two minutes, we are up at 900 meters above. Still got to climb yet. You follow that yellow route up there. You see where the red arrows are going across. Follow the, the yellow route up that mess. That's the cycle route they're using tomorrow. This is the second half. We're 36 miles in to the right so far, having just come down the main A82 there from Inverness, past Erkin Castle, down through, and now we're heading our way back up this yellow road through back up to Inverness. It's about a 68 mile round trip they've got to do tomorrow morning. Good luck to them. I'll be in the car. Okay, so now still on the highest actual peak of the Loch Ness ride. Um, just want to show you the height of this. I'm just going to turn the camera around and uh, I'll keep talking, but you'll see how high we actually are in the mountain range here. There's not a lot else above head height. Bring you straight back. As you'll see from the video here, the sea fog was coming in quite quickly on this visit. Uh, and on top of that, the temperature was dropping very quickly and I wasn't too happy being on the edge of this cliff. Okay, Saturday afternoon and uh, as you can now see from the, the way I'm looking I've actually made it up to Bow Fiddle Rock up near Cullen up on the east or northeast actually coastline of the uh, Inverness to Aberdeen corner of the Scottish Highlands. Uh, a lovely little day up here, a bit overcast, a bit sea misty as you can see from the uh, distance there great little location and um, hopefully get some nice images I'll, uh, basically the image I'm taking at the minute is what you can see there I'll just set the camera away again a second on a long exposure here and hopefully just let it cook for 30 seconds and uh, you should see something similar to what you're seeing on the camera The sea threat is definitely coming in fast because even the actual rock we're here to photograph is starting to get uh, a bit of mist stuck around it now. So, hopefully, thirty seconds seems to take forever. And there you go. 
there's the cooked image, I'm quite happy with that. And uh, I'm now going to zoom in onto the actual main rock itself. Bring you back in a second. Okay, I'm uh, just set the uh, camera away now on a portrait image of just the main rock itself there to take the picture with the leading of the foreground rocks coming off the beach towards them. Uh, 30 second exposure, 10 stop filter on and a polarizing filter. Uh, but as you can see that mist is definitely closing in now. So I don't know how many more we're going to get here today. Um, hopefully this cooks nicely. We'll uh, have something to show you. It's uh, definitely cold here. Let's have a look what we've got. Yeah, I'm quite happy with the look at that on the back of the camera. So uh, hopefully that's a good one in the bag. Right, well, uh, I think this could be it for the Saturday now. I think we've got to head back to the hotel. As, uh, Simon, as you can see, is stood there behind me. There he is, trying to hide. He's uh, going to go and get his bike built ready for tomorrow morning. And we've got about an hour and a half drive back to uh, the hotel. Uh, obviously, he's a little bit apprehensive. We've just driven around the whole of his route this morning. And uh, I don't envy him tomorrow. The first 15, 20 miles is not too bad. But after that, his legs are going to be burning. There's some big hills for him to climb and rapid. And, uh, but I'm sure he'll be fine. He's put plenty of training in for it all. He knows what he's doing. So, uh, yeah, good luck for him tomorrow morning. And um, we'll see you tomorrow. Thanks for watching. Just catch you later. Bye for now.